Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee. It's the weekly edition of Southern Rounds. How's everybody doing? It's your boy, Kevin Mack. Good to be back in the saddle hosting Southern Rounds. Uh, shout out to my boy, Dave Kennedy. He, he took the reins there for a couple weeks and crushed it. And it's uh, it's good to be back, man. To, um, what the, if, if this is your first time to Southern Rounds, let me tell you what this is. And uh, This is a weekly songwriters round that we've been doing since September of last year when COVID hit. And we said, you know what? Ain't going to stop us. We're going to keep on picking in a grinning. That's what we've been doing for about seven or eight months here now. And um, so we have uh, some of uh, my good friends here in Nashville. They're all up at the studio ready to play some of their hit songs and some great songs that they've written. And y'all just sit back, enjoy yourself. If you got questions, just uh, put it in the chat and um, I'll ask the guys what's go what your questions are and they'll answer it and it'll just be a good time we're here for about an hour and a half kick back have a beer have a diet pepsi whatever you want um and let's get going we got <laughs> my boy mr wyatt Durrett is here and he uh he's what's here with, he got one of the original og southern rounders and you guys know him mr dave kennedy's picking in a grinning for wyatt appreciate and, uh, that how, buddy how you doing man doing great bud good to be good. here for sure well, it's good to see you. We're we're glad you're here. Um, and and we're just you know, guys, let's just kick it to Wyatt. Wyatt, play us something. What are you gonna do for us first? Kick off Southern Rounds for the evening. Um, I'm gonna do a song I wrote with um, Luke Combs and Ray Fulcher. It's actually the first song we ever wrote together, and uh, oh. it was a hell of a first song to write together. Pretty deep <laughs> one to start with, but uh, it's a song called "Even Though I'm Leaving." Won't you stay a little while Keep me safe There's monsters right outside Daddy, please don't go I don't want to be alone In a second that you're gone They're gonna know Before he left, he grabbed my hand And said Just cause I'm leaving It don't mean I won't be right by your side And if you need me You can't see me In the middle of the night Just close your eyes And say a prayer It's okay, I know you're scared When I'm not here And I'll always be right there Even though I'm leaving I ain't going nowhere Dad will be late and Uncle Sam don't like to wait He's got a big old plane It's gonna take me far away I know I act tough But there's a churning in my gut That I just can't call you up When things get rough Before I left he dragged my neck hand Cause you're leaving, it don't mean I won't be right by your side And if you need me, and you can't see me In the middle of the night Just close your eyes and say a prayer It's okay, I know you're scared when I'm not here But I'll always be right there Even though I'm leaving, I ain't going nowhere Won't you stay a little while Never thought I'd see the day I had to say goodbye Daddy, please don't go I can't do this on my own There's no way that I can walk this road alone Before he left, he grabbed my hand and Cause I'm leaving, it don't mean I won't be right by your side And if you need me, you can't see me In the middle of the night Just close your eyes and say a prayer It's okay boy, I ain't scared if I'm not here I'll always be right there Even though I'm leaving, I ain't going 
I'm leaving, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, awesome, man. That's yeah, just man. a wide direct song he wrote for Luke Combs with Ray Fultry, who has also been a part of Southern Rounds here in the past. That's a I ain't leaving, man. And not to mention why that was a big old number one for you, wasn't it? It was, man. It was. I was just glad to get that song out. I just wanted people to hear it. And it, you know, it's been one of those songs for me, kind of like Highway 20 Ride, where just countless people have walked up and just, you know, the thing that made that made us write music, made you feel not alone, made you feel a part of something, made you feel connected to something. And and you know, I've had a lot of people come up and say thank you, and that's to me the ultimate compliment. You know, that you actually somebody made somebody feel something. You know, absolutely it has a great. Thing, but- Great message, man. And I uh, I remember when you played the Grand Old Opry with Luke when he brought the song. I and Rob and Channing when y'all were there, too. That's right. Yeah. And, um, what a and night. Uh, <laughs> Luke said it, it was before Beautiful Crazy. He was like, you had 14, I think, number or 13 number ones with Zach Brown. Then he's like, we're about to get you 14. And then you had 15. <laughs> so it's, uh, what a, I'm a lucky special. man. Lucky man. It's very blessed and very talented. That's why Durrett, y'all. And Thank um, Thanks to uh, Dave Kennedy for learning these songs and Dave's joining me tonight, it, too, man. man. Yeah. Dave is a powerhouse songwriter and vocalist and tonight and host, and now he's a he's a picker. He's like, hey, whatever I got to do, man. You, I'm a utility man. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. That's it. I'm the Jose Okendo of Southern Rounds. There are there two people go. that know what that means. All right. Because I don't, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we go. I like to call it a pick, pick, pass, man. We're going to grab it. And look at them. They just come up on the screen grinning like possums, boy. Last time I, last time I saw you two together, Chan and Rob are very close friends was in Key West and I believe Rob was on the moped or and Shannon was on the back holding the pizza. Uh, that was the last time I saw you both together. I've seen you separately, but it's good to see you guys. How you doing? Oh, man. Still looking yeah. for that pizza. I <laughs> uh, love you guys, man. Guys, uh, Rob and Shannon both are both hit songwriters, great songwriters. Um, Rob hosts a revival here in Nashville. He's a he's a legend of the town. And I, I, Let me go ahead and kick it with you, Rob. Uh, what, what you got? What you playing there? A resonator? Yeah, Bring man. A- uh, it's a... A resonator. I just, um, I don't know. Wanted to switch it up. Hell brought, yeah! What, he brought his blues box tonight. Blues That's box. it. <laughs> Come on, Kev Mo. What you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, stay on the on the Luke Combs train here and uh, okay. play play the first song that Channing and I um, ever wrote with Luke Combs, and that is "She Got the Best of Me." We wrote it. We just were talking about it about seven years ago, uh, which is crazy, crazy to think. And mm. then, <clears throat> you know, for the opportunity to get it you know, out to radio, which is life changing in so many ways. And then also the, like the thing that he was, how you were talking about how we were at the Opry. I mean, what a, what a once in a lifetime opportunity. And for him to be the guy to first in the 97 years of the grand old Opry, the first guy to ever have all the songwriters come out and play with him. I mean, yeah. that just shows you his character. So hundred percent. Yes, so yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to start it off with that one. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the first verse. You want to do the second sure, one? Man. Man. Cool. This one's uh, called, she got the best of me. Seventeen, you don't think that much about life. You just live it. The kerosene dancing around the fire, but you're in it, so you jump right in. Ain't afraid to fall, and you give it all. She got the best of me. She broke my heart. Now all that's left of me is beating in this guitar. Every night, a different town. She follows me around. So you get what's left of me. Get what's left of me. She got the best of me. I picked myself up off the floor and I found something new worth living for. And an old dusty hand me down six strings and a couple chords. I'm getting over her a little more with every song. So y'all sing along. Yeah, she got the best of me. She broke my heart and all that's left to me Is beating in this 
guitar Every night a different town She follows me around And you get what's left of me Yeah, you get what's left of me She got the best of me song for luke cone saying you on the luke cone trains that's a good train to be on my favorite part of that song besides it being a big old hitty was that last note you held out rob and what it was better than the note you held out was the side eye that channing gave you going god damn he's doing this <laughs> he's like lord have mercy so you could tell he ain't got covid yet <laughs> right i lost my breath listening yeah. to it yeah, oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, gotta get that j and j hey man oh. no I, I got the pfizer i got my yeah, fauci you- ouchie yeah, dude, I love that. I, dude, I texted Rob and I was like, I said, hey, man, when he was getting his vaccine, because I got the J&J and I was like, yo, man, which one did you get? He's like, I got Pfizer. I got my Fauci ouchie. And I was like, that is so brilliant. man. <laughs> so good. The Fauci ouchie. Oh, man. What a great song. That's a yeah. you guys wrote that together. So when you wrote mm-hmm. that song, did, I, I, I got to tell the story. Guys. Yeah. Wasn't it like weren't you yeah. in a hotel? Wasn't it like a. Uh, no, we were actually at my apartment. Um, apartment, okay, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Channing went out the night before, and uh, long story short, no one was feeling very well. The night. It was yeah. after one of those losers' nights at, uh, you know, three in the morning, and uh, we were just sitting there, and, uh, and and Luke had an idea. He said, hey, man, you know, he was talking about, like, high school and stuff like that, and he, and he was just like, it would be really cool, like, you know, it got the, they got the best of me. And then Channing was in the kitchen making coffee in a robe. And he said, no, she got the best of me. And then we it's just, always about a girl, man. Yeah. And then we just mm-hmm. were off to, you know, 45 minutes later. Um, and, and at the time, what people don't understand is like, we were pitching, we were going to start pitching that song to artists on the radio. Cause Luke was so new to the scene at the time. Well, he just did a couple of vine videos, which were those six, um, yeah. six second videos, stuff like that. He was going viral. And then, you know, of course, just, of course, we're not on Vine, so we didn't know. That. No, we didn't know what that was. But, uh, <laughs> you know, fast forward, the song didn't actually make his first record. Like, he put it out, and in his eyes, it did. And then it became a fan favorite. And then, uh, you know, they say everything happens in, in God's time. And, and uh, uh, we th- we both thank God that it did because as he, he got bigger and bigger, you know, it was staying on the charts longer and longer and uh, just kicked open some some doors we've been knocking on for a long time. So we're, we're both super blessed, super grateful, and uh, – Still happy to be, you know, writing with him today. He's a great mm-hmm. guy. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations on the number one, and congratulations on uh, changing it to "She Got the Best of Me." Because, like Channing said, stick a girl in it. That's that's a that's how you get a hit. <laughs> Ch- Ch- Channing's I, got. I think Rod Allen Wade yeah. said it. I just copied it. Yeah, yeah but you know, Channing Not Wilson also said the women undefeated since Adam and Eve. Yep. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, speaking of Channing Wilson, how you doing, man? Hey, Mission, buddy. buddy. I'm doing hey. pretty good, Kevin. I ain't seen you in a while, buddy. I know, man. I've been thinking about you. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining. Uh, Channing is also an OG Southern Rounder. He uh, does festivals with us and the boats and all the, the cruises, and he uh, he's hanging in with us, and we're going to get through that. Everybody's getting their Fauci out cheese, and we're hopefully going to be out. I'm stealing that, Rob. Getting mine gonna- tomorrow. <laughs> you getting yours tomorrow? Me and the nice. wife's getting uh, getting our Fauci out you tomorrow. Awesome, man. Well, I, well, I'll be praying for you and congratulations Thank on you. that. And what are you gonna do for us, bud? Well, you know, since everybody's writing their their big songs that they uh, you know wrote with wrote, uh, I'm, I'm gonna play you one I wrote for Willie Nelson here. All right, that's um, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
But except he ain't heard it yet. So if anybody out there, uh, if y'all know Willie, tell him, man, that uh, there's a guy from Georgia that wrote a song for him. Right? I'm going to use that one, too. At a table for one early morning sun shining through a broken blind sure ain't no fun the coffee pot's busted cabinets are empty and the bills are piled up black cards stacked against me and I'm on my way to missing the days when I only had one or two. But now beer for breakfast and whiskey by noon and I can't get over you. Hell, I used to be tough Well, that used to be enough But there ain't no safety net When you're falling in love When hearts are on the line Man, nothing's free And the way that she left It did a number on me I've tried moving on I've tried shaking it off But what gets me Through yesterday's news Is the beer for breakfast And whiskey by noon And I still can't get old No matter how bad that you hurt, boys, you never mix booze with the blues. Cause beer for breakfast and whiskey by noon is all I've got to get over you. That's all I've got to get over you. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. That's, a there you go. That's the beer for breakfast right there. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. All right. We got to get that to Willie, man. That is a Willie right. Nelson song all right. day. Channing Wilson's one of those singer songwriters, man. Like you feel it, you feel it in the voice, you feel it in the in the lyrics. But man, you're picking too. You feel it. You play. Mm-hmm. You play towards the song, and I love that. It's such you're a great picker too, man. Well, so thank, thank you, man. yeah, thank you for sharing that with us here yes, on sir. Southern Rounds. Um, we got lots of people watching, guys, and saying how much they're enjoying the show. We got people watching in Georgia's in the house. They said. GA up in the house, Washington State. We got Florida. We got, what is it, Isle of Palms, Wyatt, where you're at, New York City, Virginia. Everybody, Irware, watching Southern Rounds on a Wednesday night. Every every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, BeHerePresents.com or on your Facebook page, wherever the hell you want to watch. But we're going to pick, pick, pass it on to my brother from another mother, Mr. Wyatt Durrett, with uh, Dave Kenny just sitting there, got his Chucks on, got his Chuck Taylors <laughs> on, boy. Uh, so what, uh, so what you guys been up to? Y'all just been, uh, you all right, Wyatt? You coughing? You okay? So I had to cough, get it out for a second. <laughs> Choking cough, on cough a whiskey. Pass. That's a puff puff pass, not a pick pick pass. What, yeah, different kind of pass. <laughs> what you gonna do for us, man? You been doing all right? What's going on? I've been doing great, man. Just, it all. Kind, got, exactly. Just glad to get back into the mix and, uh, get into town again to write a lot and starting to play a few shows. So starting yeah, to Yeah, you were just down there playing. in some way. 
playing the wind jammer out there in Isle of Palm on yeah, the beat. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Just Did y'all have a good show? Feeling that energy again. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's coming. It's a coming. So what you going to do for us, buddy? No doubt. I'm going to do... Uh, so obviously, I write songs, but uh, me and my buddy Levi Lowry that I've written a lot of songs with um, for about 15 years, we uh, started a duo called Yesterday's Wine. And um, we've just been having a lot of fun doing it the last couple of years. Just, uh, just play, you know, a lot of times you write so many songs a year and they don't get to see the light of day a lot of times, you know. So, so just trying to give them a voice more than anything so people hear them. Yep. Um, but we're having a lot of fun doing it. And uh, this is one of those songs. This is the first one we ever recorded. I wrote it with uh, the late, great Busby. Um, we lost an amazing talent and human in him, I guess, about two years ago. But uh, three years ago, I guess. But uh, I am just I feel so blessed that I got to work with him. And this is one of my favorite songs I've ever written. He's just one talented guy. But it's called Seven Oceans. <laughs> Another night alone In a cold hotel bed My mind replaying the last words you said yeah, All I could hear is the last thing you said And it cut like a razor Right to the bone You said I can't do this all on my own you're right, there's no way I can do this alone Maybe I'm crazy Maybe you are too But I'd walk the desert Swim the seven oceans If it led me to you Don't worry about tomorrow I know we'll make it through Cause I'd walk the desert Swim the seven oceans if it led me to you And I know it ain't easy To just play along Find it inside of your heart to hold on Find it inside of your heart to stay strong Maybe I'm crazy Maybe you are too I'd walk the desert, swim the seven oceans if it led me to you. Don't worry about tomorrow, I know we'll make it through. Cause I'd walk the desert, swim the seven oceans if it led me to you. They fall. No matter the battle, I'm here for a mile. Yeah, bring on that battle, I'm here for a mile. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe you are too. But I'd walk the desert, swim the seven oceans if it led me to you. Don't worry about tomorrow. I know we'll make it through Cause I'd walk the desert Swim the seven oceans If it led me to you Girl, I'd walk the desert Swim the seven oceans If it led me to you I swear I'd walk the desert Swim the seven oceans If it led me to you Seven Oceans, why? I Red. love that song. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. It's a great it's a song, great, man. Great tune, man. Written with Busby, performed and recorded by Yesterday's Wine. That's why it's a duo with Levi Lowry. They also, yeah, you guys have your EP out on mm -hmm. Spotify and iTunes, mm -hmm. and that was actually produced, that song, I was there, by Chris Gelbuta. Yeah, right here. Did, yeah, did the vocals right there where you're sitting. Yeah, exactly um, where I'm sitting, yeah. <laughs> and B Buddha, um, if you guys know, he uh, he's a part of Southern Rounds, too. He's the, I think he did the show a couple weeks ago or a month mm -hmm. ago. Um, so Two weeks ago, I think, right? 
Yeah. Two weeks ago. Yeah, man. Something like that. It, it was a. Uh, it all runs together. <laughs> all runs yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> What's today? Who knows? Right. What year is it? Um, but yeah, man, that's a great song. Rest in peace, Busby. What Thanks, that song's going to. That's huge, man. What a great song. That's Wyatt Durrett with uh, accompanied by the great Dave Kennedy. Great playing, Dave. It's, just, it's great yeah, seeing you, man, playing, hear you sing. And uh, <laughs> it's just um, it's just cool, man. You and Channing got y'all, y'all's guitars look like they they brother and sister. Y'all sitting there with them Gibsons playing. And- <laughs> I mean, Channing was probably the one who told me now what you need to do is go get your J4. What you order to do is go get your J45, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you okay. You see this? Get All this right. one. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's go ahead and pick, pick, pass it over to uh, Rob and Chan sitting in there. Y'all doing all right, boys? Doing great, man. Good, man. What have you been up to, Rob? Where you been traveling? Are you been somewhere other than Nashville? And yeah, tell- so so uh, I was starting to get a little stir crazy, like everybody else. And uh, I guess on a whim, uh, December thirtieth, I just packed up the wife, the four month old, and the dog, and we got in the car. Did not stop driving until we got to Naples, Florida. And uh, nice. we were going for two weeks, and we ended up staying for six weeks in a 1,600-square-foot condo with my parents. Nice. And we did <laughs> not have one argument the whole time. It was the most beautiful recharge I could have ever asked for, and uh, it was just a great silver lining to the year before because we went through a, you know, a whole pregnancy and oh, yeah. and uh, you know and like a newborn baby and like never seeing our friends and family and stuff and then of course you're in florida and, and the world's open so it was yeah, yeah. it was what i needed man and it's the sunshine and it <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of it's one of my happy places but uh florida is a beautiful country yeah. if you ever get to visit <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a beautiful country it is man um, uh, they, but they um well welcome to the club man uh of being a dad too i know it's you you best thing it. ever buddy Oh, I'll tell man. you. You told me. You told me it was going to do it, and everyone's like, "It's going to change your life." And they say the days are long, and the years are short, and all this stuff. And I'm like, everybody was right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but well, it's you- it's the best, man. Um, man, uh, 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 my special place in my heart is uh, Long Beach Island, New Jersey. It's where you know so many things. Where, where my parents met, my grandparents, like. It's a uh, it's my special place, and uh, I wrote a song and actually put out a, uh, a record during the. I was I figured it'd be a great time because I, I don't really do a ton of live stuff, or I didn't in the past. I'm really looking forward to it now. Shocker, um, <laughs> but uh, you know I just didn't didn't uh, do a lot of shows, so I figured if I put out a record, I wouldn't have to tour behind it, and that's kind of what I did. I put it out during the pandemic, so uh, one of the songs I released did pretty good back in that area, and this song's called Jersey, so I'm gonna try and play it for you. Good job. Last school bell, summer rings out. The empty streets in a hard knock town. And what do you know? I 95's backed up again. Eastbound till the road run out. Salt in the air, shells in the drive in my grandma's house And I couldn't tell that they're ending there I'd still be holding on like I am To Jersey Where my mama met my dad I laid my footprints in the sand My growing up collided with my innocence I left my innocence back in Jersey Anything can happen under them northern stars When you got a beach cruiser for a getaway car And a two-week paycheck Full lifeguard cash Twenty in the jar and you hear some Rosalita Yeah, all them glory days still taste like cheap tequila More and more I find myself Trying to go back all that time went by so fast Back in Jersey Where my mama met my dad Laid my footprints in sand My growing up collided with my innocence I lived my innocence Back in Jersey In the quarter slot of a pinball machine Loose cigarette in the pocket of my jeans 
willing eyes of a boardwalk queen and a blanket on the beach when I'm lost getting caught at the end of my rope missing home losing hope I close my eyes and go back to Jersey Jersey, where my mama met my dad, who laid my footprints in the sand, and my growing up collided with my innocence. I left my innocence back in Jersey, in the corner slide of a pinball machine, loose cigarette in the pocket of my jeans, and the will nights of a boardwalk queen. On a blanket on the beach When I'm lost getting caught At the end of my rope Missing home, losing hope I close my eyes And go back Jersey I'm going back to Jersey Oh, take me back to Jersey Yeah. Great job, man. Great song. That's a great song, man. Yep. Thank you. I man. love the that's phrasing. Awesome. That's, my, that's my ode to the Garden State. Do they play that up there on radio? Um, not on radio. Uh, actually, I think it did get a couple things. Um, I know they tried to get it to uh, Springsteen just to get him to comment on it, and they no got doubt. it to his manager and somebody else, and then they were making comments of they just basically said, we're not going to play it for them, but you should have done this. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you guys were, were songwriters, yeah. too. Man, so. I love yeah. it. Yeah. My, my favorite thing about, uh, who gives a shit, but my favorite thing about songwriting is when the A&Rs who don't even write fuck oh, write songs tell you what a hit is. It's like, okay. You need yeah, an air yeah. horn. Didn't know. My bad, y'all. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Um, anyways, screw them. It's a great song. Don't change shit. Thank you, um, bro. That's a, that's that's a boy Rob Schneider man, new yep. dad, fresh back from the country of Florida, and we're glad they let you back in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, somebody called me today, say you want to play Florida? I said hell yeah, I do. Let's go. I'm a Fauci out chief. Let's go. So All right, my, man. Anyways, let me have my passport. Yeah. Let me get my passport. So <laughs> I get down there. Um, but uh, let's go ahead, uh, our buddy, Mr. Channon Wilson. Channon, uh, what you gonna do for us, buddy? I do have a request from for Channon. I don't know if you're gonna play it or if you were planning on playing it, but I gotta hear Hot Coffee at some point. Yeah, I'll do oh, it. In a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. That's such a great song. But Thanks. what are you gonna do for us next, man? I'm gonna do. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna play a tune I wrote with my buddy Davy Smith from Chattanooga. It's the. Um, It's called Lord I Feel the Blues coming on. Come on. Yeah, right. I heard that train whistle morning this morning. I got that old time feeling in my bones And the wind and the whippoorwills cry Lord, I feel the blues coming on Well, Lord, ain't nothing as lonesome is hearing your heart beat all alone And the echoes of nothing around you Ain't nothing but the blues coming on Oh Lord, I feel the blues coming on Pride shaking, my heart's aching. Now my mind's already gone. Like I've been walking a line out of an old Hank Williams song. Lord, I feel the blues coming on. I 
this old morning, this morning. I got that old time feeling in my bones. When and the whipper wheels cry. Lord, I feel the blues coming on. Oh, Lord, I, I feel the blues coming on. My pride's shaking, my heart's aching, and my mind's already gone. Like I'm walking a line out of some old towns, fans, and songs. Lord, I feel the blues coming on. Out of an old Howlin' Wolf song Lord, I feel the blues yeah. Come on now Come on Everybody got to experience Channing's train whistle Man what that, a good The moment he started playing that song I was like, I'm so glad we're in this rotation <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I gotta follow that I, shit, dude. I hate following. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. he's got hits though, man. He's, he's hits, like, yeah. that, that's the hardest song to follow. I don't care what anyone says. No. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, I'm just I'm sure Watts got a. Oh, I know he does. He's well, got gotta a play a hit now. One eye. Yeah. Yeah. He's got he's got sixteen, fifteen other. I'm reviews. just trying to get the views here for you know get Watt to play a hit over there. You know. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of views, hey guys, if you're watching on Facebook, do us a favor. If you're enjoying the show, if you're not enjoying it, don't do this. But if you are enjoying it. Please share this on your Facebook so all your friends can watch and uh, spread the words of songwriters here in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Or share um, it and make fun of us, right? Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah. Just share it and just laugh at us. And yeah. as long as people see us, we don't give a shit. So just go ahead and share it and spread it to the world. But if you don't mind, that'd be so sweet and kind of you. And we would appreciate it. Thank you, Chan. Let's go ahead to yes, my sir. friend, Wyatt Durrett. Um, Wyatt, yo, what are you going to do for us next, buddy? Um, I'm going to do a song I wrote with Zach. Uh, with Zach, Zach Brown. Um. Uh, Never heard of him. Every uh, <laughs> every when I was, well, I guess he was probably two years old. Uh, me and his mom got divorced or whatever, and every other weekend I had to pick him up. I was living in Atlanta, I had to pick him up on the Georgia line and then Augusta on Friday and take him back on Sunday on Interstate 20. And uh, I had to make it Highway 20 because Interstate didn't sing, <laughs> but um, but I wrote most of it on that road, most of it. And you know, Zach was a a, a, a kid who came from divorced parents as well so he saw his father every other weekend so it was, it was uh we got to attack it from both sides but um it's kind of a love song to my son i guess is the best way to say it now it was you know it was more painful a long time ago but now that you know we made it all through made it all through that stuff uh it's kind of like just a, a song for him but it's called highway 20 ride <laughs> I ride east every other Friday If I had it my way A day would not be wasted on this drive I want so bad to hold you Son, there's things I haven't told you Your mom and me, we couldn't get along So I drive and I think about my life and wonder why I'll slowly die inside 
Every time I turn that truck around Right at the Georgia line I count the days and the miles back home yeah. On that highway 20 ride They might come, you realize If you see through my eyes There's no other way to figure it out And part of you might hate me But son, please don't mistake me For a man who didn't care at all Cause I will drive and I think about my life and wonder why That I slowly die inside Every time I turn that truck around Right at the Georgia line I count the days and the miles back home to you On that highway 20 right When you drive Man, those years they went flying by I hope you smile Yeah, if I ever cross your mind It was a pleasure of my life And I cherished every time Cause my whole world It begins and ends with you On that highway 20 right WFLS, that's Zach Brack, Brown Band with Highway 20 Ride. I can't tell you how many times when I was a radio DJ, I introed and outroed that song. What a beautiful song, which is also a timeless song that you'll hear on Southern Rounds, written by White Durrett and Zach Brown of the Zach Brown Band. Man, great song. Timeless. Appreciate you, brother. It'll be played forever. That's one of those forever ones. It's a forever song. Great job, man. Great playing, too, Dave. Yeah, man. Crushing it, bro. Crush. What do you guys say at Revival? What do y'all say? Sick. 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 <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Well, let's go to him, the one that just released that from his system. Yeah, man. <laughs> do it one more time for me, Rob. Sick. Come on. Awesome. What do you, just go right to the song. I ain't got sh- I Just go. Go. All right. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> it's funny. Man, I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody at Southern Rounds for having me uh, be, a, be a part of this. It's... Uh, so cool and i can't wait to get out and do it for real like in front of people and everything and i just want to say hi to everybody watching and i just (laughs) fell back in love with music people and i'm pumped about it (laughs) it's awesome um i'm gonna play uh this is a brand new song i wrote this song with um ashlyn craft and eric dylan it's called thing about life He was dancing on the water off a picnic island in a plywood pontoon boat. Beer in his hand and a 30 year tan on the SS, let it go. When I got a little closer, he called me on over. I said, man, you're living the dream. He just laughed, said it ain't too bad, but I used to have everything. I had a house on a hill and a wife. That's the thing about life. Everything can change in the blink of an eye. You can spend the rest of your days just wondering why You can try to enjoy the ride That's the thing about life (laughs) 
He said I did my best to disappear in Key West, but that truck broke down on Big Pine. And since I pulled the plate on that old Chevrolet, man, I've been living on island time. And this blue water breeze just keeps telling me everything's gonna be okay. If you don't lose hope and you go with the flow, there's always better days. And that's the thing about life. Everything can change in the blink of a night. You can spend the rest of your days just wondering why. You can try to enjoy the ride. Yeah, that's the thing about life. That's the thing about life. Everything can change in the blink of an eye. You can spend the rest of your days just wondering why. You can stop and enjoy the ride. That's the thing about life. That's the thing about That's a new one from Rob Snyder. Yeah, you heard it here on Southern Rounds. Wrote that with, with you said Eric. What's his name? Eric what? I uh, wrote it with Eric Dillon and Ashlyn Craig. And Ashlyn, she's been here on Southern Rounds too. She's a Southern mm-hmm. Rounder. She was here with Laney Wilson and um, Casey Tyndall, I believe. Oh, yeah. They yeah. all lived They all lived together, man. Dude, they're, they, cr- <laughs> they crush. They are man. all awesome. That's a yeah. house full of badasses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. We had Great a good, song, man. Thank yeah. you, bro. That's a good one, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Man. Great job. It's kind of getting to the point of the show where it's just kind of like, you're just like, damn. You know, when you come to Southern Rounds, we just build up your confidence. We just tell you how good you are, how good looking you are, how. Hey, I'll, how take, I'll will, take all you got, buddy. How everything <laughs> works is going to go your way and work for you, and we believe in you. Um, but no, nah, it is a great song, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is a great song. But no, nah, shit, it is a great song. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Southern Rounds, everyone. Every, this show is every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, thank you for joining us. And we, uh, again, thank you guys for sharing on uh, Facebook. We see all the views climbing. And if you're new and you just joined us, so, uh, Southern Rounds is a virtual songwriter show that we've been doing since September of 2020. It actually started, the first one we did, it was me and Dave Kennedy. <laughs> and we were in our garages, <laughs> didn't know what we were doing. And Wyatt and Levi were on their phone talking <laughs> to the camera. It was it was a we a rough ride start, boy. But yeah. we're cruising, we're cruising now. Shit, the bed during that one, yeah. Now me and Dave look back and just laugh. It's like, oh, those, remember, those remember the, back then? Yeah, those are the good old days, buddy. Just me and you, just hanging out, not sure what was going on. Didn't have an idea, but we we're here, man. We're we're still rolling. But let's go ahead and take it to our brother, Mister Chan and Wilson, man. What you got for us, buddy? Oh man, <clears throat> I'm on. I'm gonna do a love song. If that's cool with you. I'm home. Thank you. I'm going to write another love song too tonight. I'm going to way back to Georgia. I'm, I fell in love with Rob Snyder today for bringing us uh, <laughs> ribs. <laughs> That's what, you know, you people don't know out there in radio land. Rob cooked ribs today while he was writing a song and he surprised us and had dinner for us when we got here. It was mm-hmm. pretty oh, awesome. Yeah. That's sweet of you, Rob. Even brought the bourbon. Come That's on. the title of my song. Even brought the bourbon. <laughs> I, 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 I can't take credit for the bourbon. That oh. was here, man. Oh, was it already here? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, you should have just lied to him. No. Nope. Well, that's the poetic <laughs> license of songwriting is, yep. is you're going to get the credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone would see he's like a place I came in. Poetic license. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a love song I wrote about a fishing boat. I love fishing. You know, when I was a kid, my uh, my grandparents, they got this little, uh, it was started off as a camping spot and then ended up as a trailer and then it built onto it. And and now it's uh, like a little, uh, it's like a little piece of uh, redneck paradise down on Lake Weiss and Leesburg, Alabama. And I grew up going down there and 
and uh, and they still got it to this day. I, me and my family went down there last year. And, but um, when I was a kid, ten years old, walking around trying to learn how to throw a bait caster, uh, my my granddad's uh, best friend had a 1985 Ranger bass boat, and uh, it was brand spanking new for him. So he used to he'd pull in down there, and I was the brat kid. It was like, take me fishing, man. I want to get out there with you. And, and of course, he was like, okay, buddy, you know, you just, you know, somebody get this kid where I can put my boat in the water, you know. And um, and he never would take me fishing, and I don't blame him because, uh, I mean, he had a brand new boat and didn't want to be untangling my bird's nest, you know, that I was making with that bait caster. But uh, as I grew up, I never forgot that he, uh, that I never got to go fishing on that Ranger bass boat. And so, uh he uh, bless his heart. He sold it to me, so I went to his house and bought it from him, and then I and I still got it, and I may take it fishing this weekend. So this is a song I wrote with my buddy Jonathan Singleton, who's out there somewhere doing something. Buster, get about every other throw. They say he could pull the stringer out of any mud hole. And I'd spend my summers begging him to go out on his 1985 Ranger boat. I was beating the banks, he was backing her in. And I'd ask him what they're biting on and he just grin. I can still see him disappearing round the bend At 150 Merc Rooster tail in the wind And I'd say one day I'm gonna own me a 1985 Ranger boat Now time does what it does and Buster got old Me and Rob, we got us a song on the radio And I got a pocket full of money knocking on his door Yeah, trying to buy a 1985 Ranger boat Said Channing I ain't with a line since I cover up But back her in, turn the key, I guarantee she'll run Well, boys, I couldn't count twenties out fast enough I laid them on a gold metal flake underneath the dust Now the kid's going fishing cause now I me a 1985 Ranger boat. Yeah, the kids going fishing. Cause now I own me a 1985 Ranger boat. I get about every other throw And I can pull the stringer out of any mud hole Yeah, but I still think about him every time I go Out on my 1985 Ranger boat I love that, man. Beautiful, man. What a yeah, great man. song. Thanks, Country brother. music. Hey, I, for some reason, when you were singing, I was thinking to myself, and I just got to get this out, or it's going to be like a sneeze, and I'll get a headache. But because like, he wouldn't take you fishing with him, you should have put like a tag on and said, he asked me if he could come, and I told his old <laughs> ass no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he, he's, a fish, he's a old fishing fool, it's man. It's my he, 1985. Yeah, it's he, my uh, 1985. <laughs> if, 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 you know, I know him. I know where he lives, and he's a, he's a sweetheart of a man. I've known yeah. him my whole life, and if he uh, 
If he wanted me to take him fishing, I'd take him every day. There you go. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. man. For what sure. a grace. That's what I love about country music, man. It's like, you know, it's the, really the one of the only genres where we can look at a, a boat and go, we can write a whole song about that boat. It's not like, <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I can, I, this box of wheat thins. I could go, boys, we can write a song about this shit and put <laughs> it out. That's the beautiful thing about country music, things that are important to you, man. I just, mm. I felt like I was you in that song. And it was you know, at the same yeah. time, I like to think that ain't got nothing to do with a boat, you know? Yeah, no sure. doubt. No doubt. Yeah, man. No mm-hmm. doubt, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I just smile when you said, me and Rob got a song. <laughs> got a pocket full of money. I was like, damn right, son. Go buy that shit. Oh, that's their boy, Chana Wilson, man, on Southern Rounds every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, and whatever time it is in the Pacific. I don't know. Not good at math. But we're going to pick, pick, pass it to my brother, Mr. Wyatt Durrett, in the in the room where he sang the vocals and did the record on uh, um, Seven Oceans with our friend, Mr. Dave Kennedy. Um, what are you guys going to do for us next, Wyatt? Um, I do. I also want to say thank you to Rob and Channing and Dave and all the artists that have played this thing. You know, it was something that was really important to us. Like, like I said, a lot of us write a lot of songs that never get a chance to be heard, man. And and they should be heard. And a lot of these artists need to be heard. And uh, I know it's at least for the people watching. You know, I know it, it helps them too. So uh, just thank you to all of you, and thank you to Graham and Greg, the guys running the yes, studio sir. that uh, yes, sir. do an amazing job of making yeah, this really, really easy on us. Just get to plug and play, and uh, it's it's great, man. Top um, notch. Yep. yep. Yeah, man. Um, but I would like to hear Mr. Dave Kennedy play a song, if that's okay. It is. Come on. We I could I could I could probably be talked into. It's it. okay with me. <laughs> we will allow it. Uh, man, figure out what to play now. I'll say uh, Don't mean to put you on the spot No, nah, that's alright I've been put on bigger spots than this <laughs> No, I, when Channing was playing that song It reminded me uh, He and I used to play many, many times This little place down in Chattanooga called T-Bones T-Bones And I don't remember if we were playing I think I was playing Maybe even with the band The night we it, got in a fight with Elvis? No <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Gotta hear that different, story <laughs> Different night <laughs> I won that's right. Uh, but no, I, I I got done playing and, and you know, uh, just like when I knew he was playing places, I'd show up and he showed up and we were playing. And he goes, hey, man, come out here and check out what I got. I'm pulling behind the, the, the truck or the van or whatever you were driving. I think it was that red truck. And it came out there and I'll be damned if it wasn't a 1985 Ranger boat that he pulled out. <laughs> He told me all about that. It's a true story, man. No, I know, man. I I was there when he brought the boat over by (laughs) T-Bones. I promise you were. Uh, But in that same spirit, man, last night um, was the first night I had actually gone out in Nashville in over a year. Um, Just because of COVID and everything and trying to be safe and smart and keep ourselves safe and keep other people safe. And I saw that Revival was happening. I saw that Rob was playing. I saw that Eric Dillon was playing. Two of my buddies. I knew Mel Washington was playing. I had always wanted to check Mel out. So I was like, I'm going to go down to Revival for a little bit. And I'm sitting there hanging out. Wyatt walks in, and I'm like, oh, great. Man, Wyatt's in town. Cool. Another one of my buddies out here hanging out. That's great. And the next thing you know, Channing comes walking in with Rob. And I'm like, oh, man, it it it, it felt it was so good for my heart and my soul yeah, last night no, buddy. just no to be doubt, able buddy. to be in a place with you guys, knowing that we've all done what we were <laughs> supposed to do. I'm two weeks out from my second Fauci ouchie. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, man. And it felt like it felt like the sun was starting to rise a little bit. It felt like maybe the morning was coming around. I wrote a song Come on. years ago called When the Morning Comes Around. Yeah, buddy. I wrote this song with uh, – I wrote this song with a hangover, as I recall. With a hangover, that's great. I've written with that guy a lot. He's brutal. Me too. He can help sometimes. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna wake up when the morning comes around Comb my hair and wipe my eyes Kiss your lips again before I leave this town And try not to taste bad goodbye Stomp on my boots again when the morning comes around 
turn the key and start my truck Put that pedal and them windows down Before these wheels and I get stuck I could say I'm sorry Tell you how hard I tried But all that would leave you, darling Is one more lie Clear my head again when the morning comes around Roll my last cigarette Turn that bottle up and let your memory drown Just wondering why I don't miss you yet I could say I'm sorry Tell you how hard I tried But all that would leave you, darling one more Sun's gonna come up when the morning comes around With colors painted across the sky I know one day I'll have to stop my running around Just to lay my head down and die I could say I'm sorry Tell you how hard I tried Dave Kennedy, y'all. You Never have that one. That's classic Dave Kennedy right there, buddy. Right? <laughs> Dave, Jeez. your wa- your wife said, FYI, Dave, your daughter just started weeping when you said you wrote the song with a hangover. She does <laughs> oh, no. she does she does <laughs> when I first read that I was like, Oh my god. Then she goes, She doesn't know what a hangover is, but in her little heart she also knows he's brutal. So <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Daddy's got a hangover again, Mama. <laughs> I, I wish that I could say she's never seen one. <laughs> you got, you got, a, you got some explaining. That's cute, man. She's, well, at she's least like, she doesn't oh, know no, what it that, is yet. Yeah. She just wants to protect her daddy. That's all that is. <laughs> That's right. right. Where it came from. That's yeah. right. <laughs> hangover always makes Daddy sleep all day. Yeah. <laughs> daddy gets them hangovers all the time. Oh uh, man, she's a, that's sweet though. That's <laughs> Great awesome. song, brother. Brother Dave, OG Southern yeah, Rounder, right man. there. I feel like she ought to be in bed anyway. Dang. <laughs> they party and <laughs> they get in a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What are you gonna do for us, Wyatt? Uh what's our time? How much we got? Like got how many 30, times time? We got around? about twenty five minutes. We got a couple more rounds. Two times around? Okay. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Um B Cray. Works for me. Um the song I wrote with Luke and uh Rob Williford and um you know, it's funny, like, I probably said this title in damn near 10 rooms, and nobody bit, and that just happens sometimes. People want to write about love one day or drinking one day or whatever, you know what I mean? You just got to, one lands eventually when you pass out ideas, but uh, all I had was the title, was Beautiful Crazy, and uh, I knew what I wanted it to be about. I knew it was about, you know, when you really fall in love with somebody, you fall in love with their bullshit, too. You fall in love with the fact they leave the toothbrush <laughs> out and the fact, you know what I mean, whatever, you... Those things become endearing to you. You fall in love with all of them. But uh, anyways, it's called Beautiful Crazy. Her day starts with a coffee, ends with a wine, takes forever getting ready. Though she's never on time for anything. Ever. Then she gets that come get me look in her eyes 
It kinda scares me the way that she drives me wild. She drives me wild. Beautiful, crazy, she can help but amaze me. The way that she dances, ain't afraid to take chances. Wears that heart on her sleeve. Yes, yeah, she's crazy, but her crazy's beautiful to me. She makes plans for the weekend, can't wait to go out till she changes her mind. Says, Let's stay on the couch and watch TV. She falls asleep Beautiful Crazy She can't help but Amaze me The way that she dances Ain't afraid to take chances Where's that heart on her sleeve She's crazy But her crazy's Beautiful to me Unforgettable Unpredictable Unbelievable It's unusual How I'm such a fool Man, I'm such a fool For her Cause she's beautiful Crazy she can't help but amaze me the way that she dances Ain't afraid to take chances Wears that heart on her sleeve Yes, yeah, she's crazy She's crazy Man, she's crazy But her crazy's beautiful to me Beautiful to me What a great song, man. Beautiful, crazy. I think that was why it's 14th number one. Um, great song, man. Big old <laughs> song you. for Luke Combs. Well, if you add the um, seven weeks, it was number one. It'd be around 21, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Yeah, what a, what, around a minute. That's a great song, man. What Thanks, a great bud. song about simplicity of just... Uh, women being crazy and you know god knows but we damn we well for the to- record she's the beautiful one i'm i'm the crazy one for sure oh okay <laughs> um I've, I've i've dated some crazy ones um i just i just had a I, I need to go to rehab over it i need to talk to my life coach about the i'm just yeah. kidding. you, did, you date about. the crazy one you, you date marry the, crazy, the same marry the normal yeah. Yeah. i don't know I marry the ones that say that slow your crazy only- down i guess I guess. I don't know. I told my wife the other day, I, I just grabbed her and I said, honey, I'm sorry for having to live with me and put up with me. I said, but thank you. I love you, sweetheart. I said, <laughs> I, said I do appreciate it. Um, but man, what a great song. That was a big old song for Luke Combs, Wyatt Durrett. Who'd you, you said, Rob, you and Luke wrote that, right? Uh, yeah. Did you write that down at your spot? No, it was like at their first office, like before, like where Make Wake and River House is. It was okay. like their, one of their, it was like a, a temporary office kind of thing. I was just whatever, asking because but- Wyatt's got a spot down in Isle of Palms where a lot of hit songs are getting written. Um, it's a very, Isle of Palms, man, there's a little mojo down there um, where some special songs get written. So I was just asking. But um, that's Wyatt Durrett, y'all. We're going to take it on to our brother, Mr. Rob Schneider. Uh, what are you doing for us, man? You doing all right? It's, it's great seeing you, man. It's like the screen pops up and you're just, y'all are all there. It's just kind of, it's just so nice to see everybody. <laughs> we in here. Y'all up in here. <laughs> we in here. Yeah, man. Um, it's great to be here. I'm going to do one called What Color is Happy? Mm. Color is happy if lonely is blue. What makes us hungry? Broken and bruised. How come the hard times 
was high on you But color is happy If lonely is blue Damn this old sunshine Creeping through my curtain It's been a long, long time And I'm still hurt Yeah, I'm still hurt Feel like a prisoner Shackled in chain Live in a sad town for the rest of my days Cause there ain't no freedom When it comes to you What color is happy If lonely is blue Damn this old sunshine Creeping through my curtain It's been a long Everything I'm doing just ain't working. No. It's been a long, long time and I'm still hurt. Yeah, I'm still hurt. What color is happy if lonely is blue? What color is happy if lonely is blue? What color is happy? Buddy, I think you got another record in you, man. No kidding. I have to love that song, Rob. Great yeah. song, man. Yep. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That'll be on Rob's next record that he'll be putting out. That um, will be, whenever I do it. It's a great song, man. Rob Snyder, great great songwriter, great friend of Southern Rounds, which is every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Man, We, uh, your wife was just sharing the show, so we'd like to shout out Rob's wife for uh, sharing Southern Rounds on her Facebook page and everybody else who's doing it. Got a lot of people, man, just saying how much they're enjoying the show. A bunch of hearts. Uh, Rob, just a bunch of hearts saying we love this song, Rob. And just saying, uh, and why it too, Southern Rounds is beautiful, crazy, they said. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You know, we do this and, you know, it's, it's great to you know, like the boys were saying, get out and play some, but thank you all for who've been watching Southern round since we've started this and stuck with us. You know, if it's brought a little bit of joy to you, it brings a lot of joy to us to get to perform as artists. We need it. We need it. Like we need food. So, yeah. um, <laughs> thank you so much for that. Um, Channon Wilson, you're up next, buddy. What you got? Well, I'm going to do the song you wanted to hear, buddy. All right. Uh, I like to thank Rob's wife for the uh, jalapeno butter with the cornbread. <laughs> that they made. Come on. Thank you, pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one, uh, this one here goes out to my wife. Speaking of wives, this is a song I wrote uh, during the the pandemic about paying attention to the little things that um, that matter the most that often get overlooked because you're uh, you're just working. That's really what you're doing. All the chasing and the running songs around, uh, chasing them down and it's just work you know some people swing a hammer and we drive vans across the country you know and uh sometimes you lose sight of the things that matter and the pandemic uh slowed things down for me and, and saved my life probably this is a uh, called good morning hot coffee Good morning, hot coffee, I love you, see you later, rolls right off your tongue without a fire. No truer words were ever spoke, 
A poet's charm more invoked as simple as two nickels cost a dime. Is this the things you take for granted? Like a denim shirt or an overused cliche. And good morning, hot coffee, I love you, see you later, is only what you tell me every day. The things we do to pass the time, words we say that never rhyme could matter more than ones that we write down. And born for running, it works fine for young loving, but it's a recipe for missing your hometown. Cause it's the things you take for granted. Like a shooting star, children when they play. And good morning, hot coffee, I love you, see you later. Well, that's only what you tell me every day. It's the things you take for granted Like when the bluegill bite Or the beauty when you say Good morning, hot coffee I love you, see you later But I believe that's why I wake up every day Love that song, man. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you so beautiful. much for playing Thank that. Did, did you write that by yourself, or was? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, man, so good. It's yeah, funny. That song man. stopped me in my tracks the first time oh, I heard it. Too. First Ooh. time I heard it was on Southern Rounds, and it's like you know you hear it every time. And I just want to say something. The other day I saw a shooting star, and then you have that line in that song like that takes your breath away, like a shooting star, and mm -hmm. it just the song resonates differently because it's one of those things. I was like. It just stops you in your tracks, and you're just like, "Wow." Well, you like know, that. man, awesome. we, me and my, me and my family, you know, the, the <coughs> pandemic, you had to find stuff to kind of just keep you entertained, but you didn't have to yeah. look too far, you know. It was no. all right there around you. And we, yeah. uh, for yeah. about a week and a half, man, we we went out every single night trying to see that comet, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what that was. That we had so much fun just, uh, just going to hang out, watching the sunset, and then waiting on it to get dark, and then trying to see it and then it finally it took like a took like a camera with <laughs> with a with a about a five minute uh uh exposure on it to, to see it but we finally seen it through my camera you know which was really cool yeah well you yeah. know it's, it's but that's um, kind of what that was about well i love that song because it, it's true like the pandemic was dark but there was a lot of light in it too and like i don't know if y'all remember but when we were on that carolina country music festival cruise man my son was just born and i was touring and playing i was never home and I was like, man, I was so worried that he was, it was going to be stranger danger when I got home Yeah. The, the, in 2020, the following year. But the God had different intent, you know, uh -huh. he had a different plan and his little ass was with me every day. So it was oh, yeah. like, he's my best friend, you know, it's like, yeah. it's just funny how the story, the pages turned to a different book, you know, it's like, okay, sure. we're going to go this way. But yeah. uh, I just, I love that song. The song is a huge future. Thank you for playing it for Thanks, us. Buddy. I know our buddy, Richard Blackstone loves that too. He always cool. requested it and. So thank you for playing that. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Southern Rounds. It's a virtual songwriter show. You know, when things clear up, we go on the road. We play music festivals. We play golf courses. We play anyone, the Kroger, the Walmart, anyone who will have us. We'd be there. But uh, since uh, we can't do that here, we've been doing it online. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, it's uh, guys telling their stories or some of the songs they've written. I'm your host, Mr. Kevin Mack. Um, you can see the sign my wife made for me behind me right there um and so we're gonna do one more round we're gonna do one more pick pick pass rob channing wyatt dave thank you so much for being here um and everyone thank you for commenting and and showing your love to the guys so Wyatt, what are you gonna do for us buddy last round 
I'm going to do one more Yesterday's Wine song um, that I wrote with you, Kevin. Kevin and uh, Levi Lowry. Um, you know, like you said, it's just the world seems pretty screwed up, you know, and social media and the news can make you think it's a much darker place than it actually is, in my opinion. And when you mm-hmm. get out and actually talk to human beings, we're inherently good and we all want the same things, man. We all want to be happy, you know, and, and this was kind of a song like – when I was thinking about what to tell my kids about, you know, it might it might feel really messed up, man, but just find a way to shine. Find a way to shine light in the dark. Find a way to show love versus hate, you know. And and if you do that, I think, you, you know, you got a chance at a much happier life. But uh, this song is called Shine, Baby, Shine. Yeah. Playing the part of Levi Lowry tonight. Yes, playing the part of Levi Lowry is will be Dave Kennedy. Yours truly. <laughs> we'll try to make you proud, Kevin. <laughs> Sunny days won't always come your way You got try to stay out of the shadow But life show is a beautiful ride And you you're gonna hit a couple bumps sometimes you Gotta drive through the night to see the morning Shine, baby, shine Don't let the dark around you in It's fine, baby, fine Cause you gonna find your light again you gonna knock you down, gotta pick yourself up Somebody's gotta be right, shine, baby, shine Devil lives in shady places, hides behind the smiles of a million faces. Yeah, the only way to chase him away is to let love win every day. Shine, baby, shine. Don't let the dark around you in. It's fine, baby, fine. Cause you gonna find your light again. It's gonna knock you down. Pick yourself up Somebody's gotta be right Shine, baby, shine Shine, baby, shine Don't let the dark around you win It's fine, baby, fine You gonna find your life Shine, baby, shine Don't let the dark around you in It's fine, baby, fine Cause you gonna find your light again It's gonna knock you down Gotta pick yourself up Somebody's gotta be right Shine, baby, shine I love that song. Great job, man. Great job, <laughs> Dave, too. That's on uh, yesterday's Wines um, EP that is out. You can get it now everywhere music is. And um, that was a fun song to write, Wyatt. Well, yeah, man. Great message. You know, it's funny how you just think about Sesame Street and song, start a song. Sunny days might never come your way. I'm not yeah. sad. I'm going to say that's a good song. All right, anyways. <laughs> that's what happens when you got, got a little... That's what happens when you ain't been on the road, guys. Hey, Kevin, I, I think that uh, tonight they're they're called uh, Yesterday's $3 Wine. That's it. Yesterday's $3 <laughs> there Wine. There you that's go. Good. I love it. Uh, there you go, Shannon. That's when you I thought it couldn't get any cheaper. And I thought I thought Fauci Alchie was good. There you go. This, uh, thank you so much, Wyatt. Let's go ahead. We're going to do the lightning round thank right y'all, here. This, uh, Mr. Rob Schneider on, on, the, on the resonator. What you got, Bubba? All right. Uh, again, thank you to uh, you, Kevin, for hosting and uh, yeah, Southern yeah. Rounds for having me. And uh, this one goes out to my beautiful wife, Nikki, and my baby, Amelia. And uh, 
The song's called Lucky Man. Is that my song on the radio? Is that my baby on the way? My head is crazy how this life goes by so fast Oh, I couldn't tell you how the hell that I got here Is this my house who's in these pictures? Is that my car there in the drive? Who's this beauty sitting right here next to me? Hard to believe that this is my life. What are the odds that we'd all wind up where we are? Who's to blame? Is it the moon or is it the stars that's out of my control? All I know is I'm a lucky man. A lucky man. My eyes are closing I wouldn't trade it for the world So many roads and broken highways Mistakes that I made have led me here Laying next to you, girl The stars that's out of my control Oh, all I know Is I'm a lucky man A lucky man When that warm wind lays a blanket on that ridge when my time here finally comes down to an end, they'll all be talking. I'm gonna leave them talking. Cause I'm a lucky man. That's right. Yeah, I'm a lucky man. Brother, Mr. Rob Snyder, you are a lucky man, my friend. Congratulations on the blessings you have, and we are lucky, lucky to listen to you play, man. Thank you so much, brother. Thank, Thank you for you, all you do. Congratulations on everything again, y'all. That's Rob Snyder, part of Southern Rounds tonight, the leader and the captain of the revival every Tuesday, right here in Nashville, Tennessee, at the Tin Roof. Is it the Tin Roof? Yes, sir. Tin oh, Roof on Demumbrian. Yeah, isn't there a Tin Pan too? Am I? Yeah, that's not related. That's a but festival, right? Yeah, that's uh, oh, yeah, through, through BMI. Yep. Got it. Got it. Okay, sorry. Uh, ADHD, whatever, a uh, all that stuff. HIV, I got it all. Um, <laughs> anyways, so we're going to go ahead. <laughs> AID, I don't know. All right, listen. Let's go ahead <laughs> and end it with my brother, Mr. Chain and Wilton, buddy. Take us home, buddy. All right. All the man. acronyms. I got all the acronyms. <laughs> All right, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out what to play here. I gotta. You got something okay. on your phone, don't you? I saw you. Well, I mean, there's always something on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm just trying to decide if this capo is going to work or not. I think I got it figured out. Here. 
Um, I, I was trying to figure out thinking what to play, you know, last day. Uh, I love that song Rob just did, man. That kind of we're all lucky men for sure. Yeah. I mean, we got yes, sir. To, to do what we do. Um, even even through the, when it wasn't so easy to do this stuff, you know, I mean, sometimes it was pretty hard uh, to keep doing this when so many people that you uh, your peers and people you grew up with were, you know, planning futures and having kids and putting money into everything and working jobs, and, you know. And I'm the next thing you know, you're whoa, shit, I'm forty. It happens pretty fast, you know. And a long time before that, I'm going to segue all the way back to 1997 long time ago I worked for the Georgia Department of Transportation my, and uh, my job was to uh, pick up tire recaps off the side of I-75 on a 30 mile stretch of uh, highway it's an interstate but we're going to call it a highway <laughs> and um and essentially what you did was you, you picked up the uh, alligators is what they called them. But the tire recaps, you know, you see off the side that come off the 18 wheelers and you had to throw them up into the back of a dump truck and then we'd take them to a dump. You know, that's kind of how you did it. And uh, Snyder would have been really impressed with me to see how much I could uh, lift back in the day, you know, before I got lazy. But, uh. Luckily, I got off that job because it was pretty dangerous being on the side of the interstate. And I got on a sign truck. And um, and so what I did on that job was uh, I picked and uh, picked up and put up, re-put up uh, stop signs and yield signs that drunk people knocked down on Saturday nights. I'd put them up on Monday mornings. And it was a two-man crew that covered five counties. And we left out at 8 o'clock and we was done at 5. It didn't matter. Uh, what was going on? We quit at five because it was a state job. And the guy I worked with, his name was William Darden, and we all called him Dog, and he was a Vietnam veteran and just the, one of the funniest, coolest dudes you ever seen in the world. He knew he could cook wild game and make it taste like greasy wild game. And I ate everything that he ever brought. <laughs> He's like, here, I'm on, uh, tomorrow we're having possum. And I'm like, all right, we're having possum tomorrow. And if you ain't ever ate possum, it uh, it tastes just like it looks. <laughs> this is a true story uh, that I, a song I wrote. I uh, hope you like this in here. I was 18, working on a road crew in Georgia. He is a Vietnam vet from Tennessee. He held the post while I drove the hammer. Rain or shine, side by side, five days a week. He told me all about the blues. And I'd sing for him old Hank Williams tune. And he'd say, boy, the only difference between us is your white and my black Jesus. Where well, the pay was barely legal. It's $11,999 a year, by the way. And I wasted it all on Marlboro lights and booze. And his went to his woman and his children. Then the rest hit bet on any damn thing to move. Yeah, he taught me the blues. And I'd sing for him old Hank Williams tunes. And he'd say, boy, only difference between us is your wife and my black Jesus. Well, I 
I woke last night to the rolling thunder. And my mind drifted back to me and that old man. I ain't seen him, Lord, since I left Georgia. But I know one day I'll see him again. And he taught me all about the blues And I'd sing him old Waylon Jennings tunes And he'd say, son, the only difference between us Is your wife and my black Jesus And when we meet again, y'all there'll be nothing between us it'll just be him and me and jesus come on one of my favorite channel oh, wilson songs yeah. right there so thank you guys <laughs> why I, th- I didn't say it before i started this song because i started thinking about uh sometimes I, I get to thinking about him when i'm singing it and i want to tell a lot of so many i got so many stories so many songs to write about him but but thank y'all man for having me up here and 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 um and everybody behind the scenes too that make this uh, little yeah, thing happen. So appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, We're Thank you guys. To have you, bud. Thank you so much for being here, guys. And that's Chris Paterno and Ned and every, Graham and everybody behind the scenes here at Southern Rounds and Richard and Nina and and that's Dave right. and White and everybody and their man all. Thank y'all so much for. <laughs> helping us with Southern Rounds. Um, I'm your host, Kevin Mack. We'll be back next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, Southern Rounds, the virtual songwriting show. We'll be out playing them live here for long, y'all. And I just thank you so much. Everyone, please be safe. Be careful out there. Love one another. Treat each other with respect and sing as loud as you can. I'm Kevin Mack, Southern Rounds. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Yeah,